Hi, it's Brad here with Altin Technologies. Today, I'd like to give you a quick overview of Q and Statistics Manager in MDaemon. Q and Statistics Manager is a very handy tool that can help you as an administrator locate information within your logs uh, and the other bits of information pertaining to your users. It helps you peer down into users' um, mail folders, for example, and see contents that are stored on the server, among other bits of information. So Q and Statistics Manager is located under the Q's menu in MDaemon, which is located right here. So if we go to the drop-down menu, we select Q and Statistics Manager, and this is what it looks like. You've got four tabs across the top, and I'll go through each one of these one at a time. We've got the Q page tab, and under the Q page tab, so I'll just go through each one of these tabs. Under the Q page tab, in the lower left-hand portion of the window, you have an item for each one of your mail queues. Remote queue, the local queue, the retry queue, the holding queue, and so forth. And when you click on each one of these, it brings up the contents of that queue in the upper portion of the window. Now, this is a test server that I have here, so there really isn't much traffic on it. Um, I do have a message in my remote queue, however. If I click on the remote queue, and here it is. This allows you to... Um, what you can do once you pull up the contents of a queue is you can double click on it and bring that uh, message up in Notepad, which is useful if you need to be able to view the uh, headers of a message in a queue. One use of this, for example, is if you had some messages that ended up in your uh, bad queue, which I have a lot of them here, you can look at the headers and locate the, there's a header that, that MDaemon will add for messages that are placed in the bad queue, and it's called MD bad queue reason. And that's this header right here. So that's, that's the main use of the queue page tab, allowing you to view the contents of the various mail queues. You also, by the way, have access to your uh, public folders. So you can view the contents of those folders here. And you can also, by clicking on user folders, you can view the contents of your user's mail folders. Now, if I click on it, okay, these are all my users on the lower right-hand corner. This is the same information that you will find if you click on the user page tab. So if I double-clicked on one of these users, like Frank Thomas, for example, I am now able to go down and view the uh, email messages stored in Frank Thomas's folder. Likewise, if I go to the user page tab, and here is a list of my users, I can double click on Frank Thomas, and again, it takes me right back to that same screen located under the Q page tab that I just showed you, where you can view Frank Thomas's uh, mail folder contents. By the way, let's go back and, and cover more information on the user page tab. So this gives you a high level overview of your users, the mailbox, the domain that they are attached to, the number of messages in their mailbox, the amount of disk space used, whether or not, if, if a quota has been assigned to a user, then this column, the quota column, will show you the percentage of their quota that they have used, as well as whether or not forwarding is enabled for an account, and if so, the address that messages are forwarded to. And then finally, under the last column here, the date and time that the user last accessed his or her email. And notice again, you can click on these column headers to arrange the contents uh, based on the column you click on. So if you click on the name column, it will alphabetize the list for you. And again, simply double clicking on one of these users will bring you to, double clicking on one of these users will bring you to that user's um, inbox as shown here. And again, here is uh, that user's messages. Okay, so that was the user page tab. And then we have the log page tab. Now this tab is very handy because a lot of the times an administrator, let's say you're an administrator and you're troubleshooting a mail delivery issue. Well, a lot of the times uh, administrators will go into the MDMN logs directory and open up a log file using Notepad, and then scour that log for keywords or do a keyword search. So for example, if you're looking for an inbound SMTP connection and you're, you're looking for a particular email address or host name in that SMTP in log, you can open it up in Notepad and 
do a keyword search. Well, there's actually an easier way uh, and, and this is uh, sufficient for most types of troubleshooting. Uh, but what you can do is you go to the log page tab and you click on open log here at the bottom. And then it takes you to your MDAMON logs directory where you can open any one of your MDAMON logs. So for example, if I find the most recent log for, um, for today, and we'll, we'll, we'll use the uh, MDAMON all log file so we can pull in all sessions. Basically what's going to happen is it will, it will itemize all of the sessions that it finds in whatever log file you open. So if you open up the, the SMTP in log, it will find all inbound SMTP sessions. If you open the MDAMON all log file, which contains all of your sessions, inbound and outbound, regardless of protocol, it will open, all up, all, open up all of those. So that's the one I'm going to use. So we'll open the MDAMON all log file. And it tells you the number of sessions inbound and outbound of the various different protocols that it found and tells you the start and end date that is that was found in the log. And if you'll notice, again, it itemizes each session, each connection or each transcript on a separate line in the log. And again, you can click on these column headers to to rearrange the uh, the order, or the, rearrange the list. So for example, under type, you can see other connection types like IMAP, there's multi-pop, there's SMTP outbound and SMTP inbound. Now what's really handy about this is, and this is what I was talking about when I mentioned having to scour the, uh, the logs using Notepad. Well, you can come over here and, and double click on a session. So if you, needed, if you needed to find a session, let's say, I, well, I sent an email to um, Frank Thomas at suchandsuchdomain.com I wonder what happened to it because he said he didn't get that message. Well, let's say you find it in Q and Statistics Manager, Manager by pulling in the contents of a log and you find it here and you can double click on it and then get an exact transcript of the, uh, of the protocol dialog for that specific session. So this pulls in only the relevant information that you need as opposed to pulling in your entire MDAMON all log file or your, your entire SMTP out log and then scouring it for the information. So this is a quick way to troubleshoot mail delivery issues by pulling up exactly what you need by pulling up the relevant log file. Okay, and finally, if we go to the report page tab, this pulls in the contents of your configuration report, which is useful if you want to get an at-a-glance overview of all of MDAMON's settings, everything from your registration information to um, SMTP server settings, port settings are in here, uh, DNS server settings, everything is in here. And this is useful because if you need to uh, send a ticket to technical support, they may ask for this configuration report so that they can get a high-level overview of what uh, of your configuration on the server. So that's just a quick overview of Q and Statistics Manager. It's a very uh, handy tool and uh, it can save you some time in troubleshooting if you would like to be able to go and, and itemize logs based on their sessions as opposed to scouring an entire log file in Notepad. If you uh, would like more information or if you'd like to see other tutorials, visit our website at www.altin.com and go to the uh, support uh, tab at the top. We have more uh, resources there. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.